this is a lesson on laws of exponent but before i i look at the laws of exponent i want to explain what an exponent is this big number is called a base and they will write a smaller number there which is called an exponent this why this why this section are called exponent they sometimes call it a power so you can call it an exponent or a power this is 2 to power 3 or is 2 to exponent 3 so what does this exponent mean it does not mean 2 times 3 it means you multiply 2 3 times so you'll have 2 times no let's start by saying 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 3 or 2 to exponent 3 it means you multiply 2 3 times you multiply the base as many times as the exponent and your answer is 8. So this is what an exponent means. Let's look at another example. Let's say they give you 4 to the power 2. What does it mean? It means you multiply 4 twice, which is 16. It is not 4 times 2. Okay, let's look at the laws of exponent. Okay. The first law says when you multiply the same base the base should be the same this bigger number must be the same and you must multiply when you multiply the same base you add the exponent so the base is still the same as x and then my exponent this was exponent m this was exponent n i add them it's m plus n okay let's look at an example with numbers let's say i have two to the power 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 okay according to this law i'm gonna add the exponent i'll have 2 to the power 3 plus 2 which is 2 to the power 5. let's explain exactly what does it mean what is 2 to the power 3 it's 2 3 times multiply 2 3 times multiply by what is 2 to the power 2 it's multiply 2 2 times okay how many twos do i have now one two three four five so i have two multiplied five times is two to the power five so do you see you actually get the same thing whether you use the law or you spread them out now it's easier to use the law and it's faster and you make less mistakes unlike spreading it out but it's basically the same thing okay let's look at the next Law two talks about divide it says when you have the same base and you're dividing you subtract the exponent so divide can be written in two ways you can have x to the power m divided by x to the power n or you can write it like this x to the power m divided by x to the power n so the law says when you divide you have the same base and you are dividing you subtract the exponent so you have m minus n same thing here because we are dividing you're going to have m minus n let's look at an example let's say you have 5 to the power 3 divided by 5 to the power 2 okay according to the laws of exponent 5 to the power 3 minus 2 it's 5 to the power 1 which is the same as 5 okay now let's speed it up and see what happens exactly 5 to the power 3, you repeat 5 3 times, divided by 5 to the power 2, you repeat 5 twice. Because you are dividing, you can cancel out that 5, cancel out that 5, to see that we are left with a 5. So the law is correct. The law says when the bases are the same and you are dividing, you subtract the exponents. Let's look at law 3. Law 3 says when you have x to the power m raised to the power n, meaning that you have this exponent to the power to an exponent. Law 3 says that you multiply the exponents. So it will be x to the power m times n. That's what law 3, law 3 says. You have an exponent, a base to an exponent raise everything to a power so that's that let's look at an example okay let's look at an example if you have x to the power 3 
and everything is raised to the power 2. The law says it will be x to the power 3 times 2, which is x to the power 6. Okay. What is x to the power 3 raised to the power 2? It means you multiply x to the power 3 twice. So you'll have x to the power 3 times x to the power 3. No. x to the power 3. What is x to the power 3? It's actually x multiplied 3 times. Multiply x 3 times. How many x's do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is x to the power 6. So the laws are there to make our lives very easy. Just imagine if it was x to the power 10 multiplied by x to the power 20. You have to write so many x's. So if you use the law, it becomes very easy. And it's correct. It works every time. Law 4 says if you are multiplying two things, x times y, everything raised to the power m. You actually have x to the power m and y to the power m. You are multiplying two things raised to the power m. Each one of them will have a power m. When you notice something about all these laws of exponent, they work with multiplication and division only. When you are adding or subtracting all these laws, they don't work. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's explain this further with an example. 2 multiplied by... Sometimes multiply, they will write a dot. 3 and raised to the power 2. Okay? According to the law, is 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 2. Now, these two, the bases are not the same. You can't add the exponent and do no one because the bases are not the same. So, 2 to the power 2 is 4. When I multiply 2, 2 times, multiply by two, 3 to the power 2 is 3 times 3, which is 9. And then, what is 4 times 9? 4 times 9, it's 36. Okay. Now, let's do 2 times 3. To the power 2. According to both mass, it says solve the bracket first. So 2 times 3, because uh, I can, there are numbers, I can multiply them out. It will give me 6 to the power 2. What is 6 to the power 2? Is 6 times 6, which is 36. So here, we are just, just trying to prove that the law is correct. The law says that if you have 2 numbers that are multiply or variables that are multiply raised to a power they put a bracket around and then they give they write a power each one will have that power let's look at the next one. Right. law five says any number when it has an exponent of zero it will be one x to the power zero is one so for us to explain this law we use a calculator Let's take 25 to the power 0. Let's punch it in our calculator. 25 and then there's an X thing with a colored box there. A X with a colored box like this. Then you press that. It will raise the exponent for you. Then you put 0. Then you put equals to. It gives you 1. So this law is quite simple. It says any number to the power 0 is 1. So that's something that you're going to use in your future mix in, in the higher grades that you're going to um, be using exponents. Okay. This is the end of our lesson. Please practice and don't watch this video once. Watch it over and over again. This is concept that you're going to use for the rest of your maths experience.